Welcome back to Amnesia, Romanin Part 2. So I immediately see something on the floor. It's uh, some scribbles. I can't make out what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a force field here. Uh, at least I presume it's a force field. It's glowing blue. Hmm. When padlocks glow blue, I think you should call an exterminate. An exorcist. Poor guy. I mean, why else would he go blue and being possessed by Satan himself? How much? I have decent amount of oil. Oil. Good. Another scribble. It's a V with some else, something else. Uh, oh, not. The dungeons. I see that you've reached the dungeons. It's really the most horrific place on earth. Aiden, a cold-blooded murderer, used to torture and keep prisoners here. From their blood, from their blood, he extracted Vitae, a substance that slows aging, aging so much that it practically makes one immortal. You must watch out, as Aiden didn't kill all his victims. Most likely, they are wandering around these chambers, unable to escape, insane and willing to kill the person who did that to them. However, I don't think they would recognize him from any other person. So I would not get comfortable if I were you. Kind of. P.S. Block A, Laboratory. Block B, Cell Storage, Main Garden. Entrance Hall. Block C, Morgue. Central Corridor. And block D, Cells and Torture Rooms. Ah, I didn't know that. So this is one of these. I just wander around. Yeah, I know he's out there already. Let's go. Come. I don't need to watch him. Whose business? Jesus. Okay, so there's pipe here, but I can't pick it up. But there's a cock with that, so perhaps I need it eventually. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a shooter. So I can't pick it. But I have this thing. Pick it up as well. Old crowbar. It went from a crowbar to an old crowbar by one using it once. Roman in three. Did you read this? Did you read this journal? Unfortunately, it's all the truth. These are uh, used to be my dungeons. Now they are his. I did torture people here, and I have no way to excuse myself. When you find the shard located in the very heart of the dungeons, I'll tell you more. Perhaps you noticed the door to the laboratories is cut off with a spell. Uh, you must have noticed that the quake which collapsed the tunnels you entered with. These two were attempts to imprison you in a complex. However, there is another way of escaping the dungeon, which he never knew about. He must descend to the underworld. It won't be easy, but Kynum has lost a huge amount of energy to put a spell on to cast the quake. He won't interfere for some time, so escaping might be easier. First, go to the sanctuary that is buried deep inside these mountains and access and access accessible only by these corridors. When you get there, you'll be able to find out more items. Oh yeah, I should also remember there are those notes. How much do I have, actually? Four out of thirteen, I think. So, I have to get ten in areas plus three in the... What is it called? Uh, Academy, yes. So I have to still search for that one. For the one here. As far as I can remember, I did um, pick up every single letter since uh, in the first part, I think. So having missed one, I don't think I have missed one yet. Because I was sure to pick up every uh, hidden note per area. So yeah. Alright then. E U E they can be everywhere then, I guess. Can I like lock pick this? No. Can I use this? No. I cannot. Hmm. Oh here's by a sort of dude, right? Yeah, I think so. Prisoner's journal, why is it in his mouth? 
Uh, my name is Samuel. I've been kidnapped by this man, and for the last day I sat in a cell. He didn't search my pockets thoroughly, so I can write a, this snippet of paper. Nothing happened yet, but I want to write that I'm innocent, and this probably isn't going to end well for me. The person is probably a serial killer or something, as I've heard loud screams of pain in the last few hours. A few moments ago, I've been transported to a different cell, deep in the dungeons. He made me strip from all my clothes with a few good lashes of his whip. When he wasn't looking, I managed to hide this paper and and a piece of coal I write with in my mouth. Now I'm laying here naked in the darkness against, again listening to these horrid, horrid moans. I can somehow feel it's gonna going to be my turn to cry quite soon. I was touched for the last two hours. I can barely write as my hands tremble from pain. He restrained me, started beating me with a hammer and later with a whip. For some reason he collected my blood. He locked me in a small cage and made me it may look as he dismembered. <laughs> he locked me in a small cage and made look. I made look. Uh, uh, he made him look as he dismembered a living man. Oh God! I shiver as I recall the memory. Is this going to happen to me too? I managed to take a peek at him feeding other prisoners with some strange, strange liquid. The prisoner fell unconscious after some time, and when he woke up, he soon started shouting that he didn't recall anything from his past. He didn't even remember his name, so perhaps. I was fed this potion as well, so I perhaps I was already a prisoner. Torches are beginning to be worse. Last time I almost burned to death in a bronze statue of a bull. He made me forget everything from my life. If not this piece of paper, I would not even know my name. Do I have a family? Question mark. Where am I from? However, the potion I drank didn't wipe out the memory from me. Hmm, well, from the world. Uh, it's getting very weird now. <laughs> I recall the shape of Europe. I know what a violin is for. I remember how to use a lantern, but how did I get here? The ri this writing knew not me. This writing knew not me. Okay. You know what hell feels like? It's like a void in your head. Deep, dark and empty void. I managed to steal one of his keys when I was tracking me out of the torture room. I'm going to hide it on the top of the door frame in my cell. It's the last one on the. It's the last one on the right. Ah, okay. I have to remember that. I have no hope that it will help me, but maybe someone else can use it. I'm too weak to escape. I can hardly walk now, and the burns I have made me faint every few minutes. I doubt he will touch me again. But it means my name was Samuel, and I'm going to die. It's quite a strange note, once of all. You know, you see that. After a while, you know, the the writing became more inconsistent. Picked up a jar. So, do I have to pick up this blood then? Bloop. Ah, I'm going to make uh, Vitae as well. Perhaps. There's a key there as well. Small key. Right, I still have to find that note, that hidden note. Can I? No. Yet. Okay, how about this one or this one? I, I doubt the blood will help. Oh, oh yeah, there's another pot, uh, padlock here. Ah, there we are. So the last on the left, something like that. Nah, I will check every single one anyway, because I need to find that hidden note. <gasps> yes! Haha! <laughs> Poems. Poems found in the deep lungs of Aiden's dungeons. Don't you know that I'll be around to guide you through your weakest moments to leave them behind you? Returning nightmares only shadows will cast some light and you'll be alright for now. Crosses all over. Ah, I see. It's a cross and then the plural of cross. But it doesn't need to double S at the end. <laughs> Heavy on the shoulders, the silent inside you wake, waiting to step forward. Disturbing silence darkens you in the side. We'll cast some light and you'll be alright for now. Well, at least for now then. Ooh. Yeah. 
Is this going to be like one of those amnesia thingies? Yeah, I knew it. I'm one of those uh, main amnesia scares. Locked. And somebody moaning. So I got the one from this place as well, so that's good. At least I know that. So it was. I don't think this is his cell door. So it was that there. Something here. Can I light that? No. Nope. All right. All right. Um. Perhaps there's something here that I can still pick up. We. Okay. And for that. Medieval torches. Medieval torches by H. P. Lesenbaum, property of Academy Academic Library, Department of Historical Resources. These torches were quite nasty, opposed to modern ones. They leave big marks on the victim's body. Psy can be damaged too if the ex executioner is doing it in a persistent and calm way. Additional scares with the victim before inflicting the torture, for example, by showing his tools, methods, etc. The brazen bull. This torture consisted in literally roasting victim, usually to death, and originally came from ancient Greece. One was put in a hollow made of bronze and statue of a bull and fire was lit up underneath. The tool had the tool had door in its side and a hole in the bull's snout, which allowed roars of pain to escape, distorted in a macabre way by echoing metal. Presumably it was used to scare the audience away from crime and the instrument itself. The wheel <laughs> This instrument is the torture itself. It, it was the way to bound to the it was a way to bound the condemned to continue with other punishments such as beating, whipping, cutting, etc. However, wheel had a special feature different from other meanings of bounding. It has holes in it which allows to break and tie up limbs easily. Which allowed to break a tied up limb easily. Possibly with a hammer or a club. Also the victims could be spinned to create discomfort. Now we know that if one of us hanged upside down, blood rushed to his head, making the pain even worse. Hmm. I see. I'm getting really thirsty here. Just a sec. Good. Alright. Let's see. Okay, there has to be a key here. If not, then I'm gonna get angry. Okay, it's there. I can see it. Small key for the other padlock, probably. I take a box with me. Just to be certain. Alright. I guess from, from here. Yeah, I knew it. Hmm. 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 Oh. That's interesting. Is up here. Wait, wait. This is a parkour, isn't it? Oh, was it? Uh. Hmm. I thought you had to do something here, like a parkour thing. There's a note there, I can see that. Oh shit, yeah, um, to get up there, I think. Okay, let's read the note first. Vite. <laughs> the knowledge assembled. Vite is of cosmic origin and causes the living host to burst with energy. The catalyst is produced somewhere in the brain. Although many of its properties are known, one of them is the ability to extend life potentially for centuries if consumed in large amounts. In order to procure such amounts, it must be acquired from humans. Although animals also secrete vitae, they do not produce it in large doses enough to be sure to be of any use. Obtaining vitae is a method method methodical. I think it's a methodological but and painstaking task. A torture must be inflicted in the right 
fashion for maximum vitae extraction. When the pain or fear is instilled in a victim, the body fills the bloodstream with vitae. And this can be this can result in fits of violence and brute strength if the victim is not properly restrained or terrified. And after the victim is completely broken, they will no longer produce enough vitae as their mind has already adjusted to the torture. And as an amnesia drink may be used to make them forget about the torture, so more vitae can be harsh vested. I see. Yeah, um, you have to get up there, don't you? Oh, yeah, uh, uh, uh yeah, there was like, um, uh i knew i had to those pipes and you know back there i was like hey i cannot pick up this pipe but i knew there was something with the pipes that you had to use it, okay i don't think i can do that yet i just have to figure it out a little bit later <laughs> right um oh well at least i got two thunder boxes from it ah Right, um, thought that was a way to, hmm, oh, wait, 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 yes. of course, of course, come on, and there we are, ah, well, here's a goddamn letter. I should plant this ladder on the wood beam. I will do that eventually. Instruction. The new mechanism opening the door has been finished, sir. If you want to make use of it, pull the lever first. This will allow the stream to flow. Then press the button that starts the mechanism itself. <coughs> Please note that the steam isn't turned off after using. Pressure control pipes are easily broken. They will be mounted inside, outside the ball to make repairing comfortable in such a case. If this happens, I left some spare parts in the room where my crew used to store tools. You're to your convenience, engineer. A Mario, it's a me, a Mario. Alright, this is number one. Oh, it fixed by itself. Ha! Genius. It's number two. I just threw the ladder down and it adjusts itself to my convenience. But I found this also very convenient anyway, so. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that's weird when it happens. But it happens. Oh, okay. Blue. Right. Okay. Um. I knew it. Fuck. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Oh, barrels. Oh, he's actually there. <laughs> Well, at least he's blind. <laughs> there, safety. Safe, safety of the barrel. Not so aggressive, hmm? It's, the door hasn't done anything wrong. I know for sure that you need this. Alright. <laughs> Wee! Adios. Uh, no, not that way. This way. Up you go. This is more convenient in my opinion than the... Than the... Whatever the... the, the Thingly dingly, the the ladder. What? Okay. What? Okay. Here you go, and now, okay, now it opens. Yeah, I know. That opens. Interesting. Is giant mushroom. Is it you? Since you don't recognize me, my name is Garluk, the Oh yeah. Oh fuck am I Aiden?
I'm the dude that tortured all those people. Oh my god, I deserve to die. Can you hear me? Good. Good. The orb shard you've just picked up allows me to talk to you. I'm oh. Aiden. Or rather, we are Aiden. Oh, am I schizophrenic? No, not mistaken. We're the same person. How did this happen? What exactly is this? You see, our former self has been split into two. I'm the mind, floating in space without a body. A ghost, technically speaking. Oh, ghost. And you're no. the body, wandering around without any memories or knowledge. This happened because of Canem. He somehow tore us apart. By accident, I think. He overdid the torture he inflicted onto us. He used an orb, which I'm being stored in right now. Unfortunately, the orb is in pieces at the moment. I want you to redeem yourself, kill Canem, and leave this place. Or rather, redeem us. Because if you find all the orb shards, we can be melded together once again. You can regain your soul. One last thing, you must go into the underworld. As I said before, it's the only exit from these dungeons at the moment. The mighty fungus is going to help you because I helped him before. Now, proceed. You'll know where to go when you're back to this world. Hmm, interesting. So, now I understand. Kainam used Vite on... I uh, wanted to extract Vite from me and used the... Uh, Amnesia portion to inflict uh, the whole cycle again, if, which we just you know read in the uh, notes. And I'm actually uh, Aiden, the one who started it all and tortured all those people, and including I think Kanem's family or something like that. And now Kanem is very angry with me and tortures me like that uh, until well, until he's satisfied, I guess. So. I mean, we need to stop uh, Kainam anyway, but do I deserve redemption? Mm, I don't think so. Well, I as in the protagonist then, yeah. <laughs> the Underworld. The Underworld is something between Earth and other dimensions like hell, heaven or hell. Certainly it isn't safe, as spirits of people lost in there for long enough morph either into horror monsters or etheric entities. Fortunately for us visitors, they are usually uh, hostile. Getting slot in these there results in turning into one of these creatures. Getting possessed results in losing one's body and becoming an insane spirit. However, these aren't the only beings existing in the dimension. Some of them grew powerful enough to get others under control. We call them the Great Lords. It is possible to summon a Lord on Earth to channel his power into the Magus Mages or for other purposes. Their form usually changes after the summoning. It's possible to use the underworld and what as a traveling device. For example, if a mage is make one of the steps in the underworld and creates another gate, he will land 200 steps from the place he started from on the earth. It's possible to make a steady connection like that. The underworld is one of the closest dimensions to ours. That's why it's easy to get there. In order to do it, ma the mages must uh, summon a great lot and either bound him or ask him to use his power. Without that, mages will look too weak to break the dimension seal and open the gate. When it is done, the mages must light six fires around the place of the ritual. Then he must paint a protective sigil on the floor and powerful runes on the empty shape of, of the gate. Uh, and then the gate will be created at for example, a door frame or even a wooden rectangle. Or if it is not a fist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Painting a blood makes this summoning less powerful, con uh, power consuming, but it isn't necessary. To open the gate, mages uh, must stand in the sigil, say the incantation, yeah, whatever this is. <sighs> I'll sure say it. Do kikale wa unala zo di mezod. Pire oel aladonu nanail do yeredra akanta. Something like that. Potent. Before entering 
mages should perform the rite of protection to save him from being possessed. Here's how it looks. Mages should sacrifice some of his blood to the great lord and say, Christos. What has Chris? What has Christ to do with this? Mikala zodo kasarene e karan karinu ot busada tarainu lui pamisa. So, want to escape? Of course, I will help you, just as you helped me in escaping that boring dimension. Prepare the ritual. I'll wait. Uh, okay, okay, okay. How do we do? <laughs> okay, well, and I should look for a little bit later. Okay, a little bit. I guess I'll just start with this. It's good I picked up all those uh, tinder boxes. What if you didn't have enough tinder boxes, huh? There. Those are the candles, it seems. How do you start? Do you start by doing this? I need my hands for the painting. I'll do that later. What do you want me to do now then? Oh, there we are. I guess I have to do that. And I suppose I can do that now, right? I think he's going to say the incantation also out loud. Christeos Mikalazado Kasarine I Karino Otusada Tariando Lui Pamisa. Okay, fix that shit. Do I have to do something here now? Duki Kale Walnalazo de Mesa Dile. Right. The point of incantations is that, of course, you can use examples of people who made ex incantations before. But um, the actual point of incantations is you can create your own incantations. As long as your uh, will and your purpose is stated in the incanta incantation and it made you think about what you want to do with it, with the spell, whatever you're making. So it's not like it is like, well, these exact words you have to say or else it won't work. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to make it, the incantation such a way that you focus on what your purpose is. So, yeah. But of course, there are also always some people who do not, who say, well, it has to be exactly like that, you know, those ed editists. It has to be exactly like, like that. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, it's already there. Oh, what a... <laughs> to the underworld. Yay. The surrounding void was silent, dark, sticky and cold. Still better than the dungeons, though. The underworld is still better than the dungeons. So what will we find here in the underworld? You'll see that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.